So welcome to Light'em Up Outdoors. Today we're going to be making barbecued rabbit, so stay tuned. So in the past I've made rabbit a couple different ways. One of the ways is I fried the rabbit. Another way is rabbit with gravy. And both of those are really good recipes. So if you haven't checked those out, I'll put a link up here. And I'll also put it at the end of the video where you can just follow that thumbnail. Today, as I mentioned, we're gonna do barbecued rabbit. And I'm essentially gonna treat this rabbit like a chicken where you know, after you skin it and gut it, you soak it in, in brine, in salt water, and let that sit for at least a day. And um, following that, you, you rinse it, you take it out, dry it, how to dry. Uh, if there's any hair or anything like that, be sure to remove that. So once you've done that, we'll pick up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to spatchcock this or to open up the rib cage and the hips. And I'm doing that essentially so that it cooks evenly, or when it's on the barbecue, it cooks evenly. After we've done that, we'll just open up the pelvis. And now with that open, it'll cook a whole lot more evenly. So after spatchcocking that, this meat is really lean. So I want to put uh, olive oil on there. And that does a couple things, but... Uh, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to help us bind the rub that we're going to use. And it provides a little bit of moisture uh, when barbecuing this. So today I'm going to be using Weber Honey Garlic Rub. We're going to coat all the portions of this inside and out. So after we've put a rub on there, we're just going to let this sit for 45 minutes. Now keep in mind that we've already salted this, so that's really going to penetrate the meat. This rub just needs to soak. It's not going to soak in very much. We're just you know going to let it sit, and um, you know so 45 minutes later we'll bring it out. I recommend using a fruit wood or some other type of light smoke flavor wood. Rabbit like fish or chicken really takes on that smoke flavor. So something like a cherry like I'm using or maybe an apple, perhaps a pecan or pecan wood would work as well. So we just finished smoking this rabbit. We had it about 275 and it took about an hour and 15 minutes to finish. 
So we pull it off, we let it rest 15 minutes or so, covered up in foil, and now we're ready to give it a try. Ready? Okay. So I normally do this like pulled pork when I smoke, grab it and just pull a little bit. That's really good. You can definitely taste the cherry wood smoke flavor. It's just light, but it's real sweet. Mm. Yeah. I like it? Yeah. I'm gonna get my own. Okay. This backstrap was absolutely phenomenal. It had the consistency of sort of like crab meat, but with more flavor. If there is a cut of meat on wild game that's better, I haven't had it yet. Uh, I mean, it, this is just, it doesn't get any better than this. So there you have it. Quick, easy recipe. Another great way to make rabbit. And I'll put the link, links to the videos here at the, on the end of this video. Uh, some other ways that I've made it, whether it be frying it, or um, rabbit, um, rabbit and gravy. All of those, all of these are, are really good ways to, to make it. So if you're interested in another recipe, go ahead and check those out. And uh, I've got other wild game recipes as well in the playlist. So you can follow the link there. I'll have some of the products in the description that I use for this cook. And uh, you can go check them out if you like. So thanks again for watching. If you're new, you know, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So, take care.